Malaysia has installed Sultan Ibrahim as its 17th king in a grand ceremony at the National Palace. Today's ceremony was held six months after the 65-year-old ruler of the southern state of Johor took the oath of office for a five-year term. Malaysia practices a system of constitutional monarchy in which state rulers take turns to serve as king for five-year terms. The traditional event showcased the rich history of the Malay Sultanate and was attended by hundreds of guests, including state rulers and foreign dignitaries. Afifa Arifin tells us more. A ceremony steeped in royal tradition, Malaysia's King Sultan Ibrahim and Queen Raja Zarit Sophia were received by a guard of honour upon their arrival at the National Palace. The king wore a traditional Malay royal attire along with regalia such as the tankolo, a ceremonial headgear worn by Malay men, and the karis, a Malay dagger. The installation ceremony was held in the palace's throne room and attended by members of Malaysia's royal families as well as Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim and members of his cabinet. Foreign royals including Sultan of Brunei and King of Bahrain were among international guests present. Sultan Ibrahim had also invited Singapore Senior Minister Lee Hsien Loong to the ceremony. Mr. Lee, who will also be attending the Royal Banquet this evening, is on a four-day visit to Malaysia. This is Mr. Lee's first official overseas visit since he stepped down as Prime Minister in May. Malaysia practices a unique rotational monarchy system where its nine rulers take turns to helm the federal throne for five years. The official installation ceremony on Saturday morning began with Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim reading the letter of proclamation. Before King Sultan Ibrahim Ibrahim took his oath. In his royal address, the king accepted his responsibilities and vowed to care for the people's well-being. A royal banquet will be held at the palace on Saturday evening and events to mark the occasion will continue over the next week. The royal couple is scheduled to visit a hospital and the National Museum will feature a special Raja Kita or Our King exhibition. The celebrations will conclude with a royal tea reception on July 27th. Afifa Arifin, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.